You weren't persuaded by Monokuma. And you weren't trying to save yourself. What you were trying to do was kill the mastermind. Kill the mastermind? Kaede wasn't targeting Rantaro. She was targeting the mastermind. She was trying to end this killing game. She was trying to save us all. Isn't that right, Kaede? I see! Otherwise, everyone would have died when the time limit expired. So, she tried to end the killing game by killing the mastermind? But it's all my fault. Kaede trusted my detective skills. I told her the mastermind might be there. And that's why she <coughs> set me a trap. It's all my fault. She trusted my detective work and I screwed it up. Stop. It's not true. Please, don't say it's your fault. It'll be harder for me. None of this is your fault. It's mine. Everything's my fault. Kaede. Shuichi, can I ask you to do one last favor for me? Can you end all of this? What? I want you to reveal everything that happened and convince everyone. And then I want you to end this. That's my final wish. I understand. I'll end all of this. I'll reveal everything. The truth and the lies. I want to help. I want to you or I want to help you grant Kaede's wish. I will now explain the closing argument, the final piece of the detective work at the end of this trial. In the closing argument, you'll wrap up the case. You will have to reproduce the order of events in case in form of the comic book. But this recreation is just Suichi's deduction, so the gaps are so gaps here and there are gaps here and there. The gaps are uh, where a number of pieces are missing. After selecting panels with the plus button and the LS to move the cursor over the gaps, then fit the panel in the empty space Y over the correct panel and it will fit. Compare the empty space hints with the stock panel hints to compare the complete the comic. There will be some panels that you cannot select at first. Filling in the gaps correctly will unlock other panels. Press L and B to switch pages and start filling as quickly as you can. Thank you. Thank you, system. Bye. Have a good system. This is okay, so this is interesting, the way that they have this. What happened in the one hour before the time limit? What help? Oh, why was it audible? I will say the controls on the soft panels is weird, but we'll take it. Case. <laughs> it all began two days prior, when Monokuma gave us the additional motive. 
The time limit added to this killing game triggered the crime. After the announcement, some of us decided to form groups to plan our next move. I had my own plan to find the mastermind, and someone offered to help me. At the time, I never would have imagined they would become the culprit. To expose the mastermind, the culprit and I set up hidden cameras in the library. There was a hidden door in the library that showed signs of use. We deduced that the mastermind would return there to let Monokuma out. The next day, we asked Mew if she could modify some cameras for our trap. We then went to the warehouse to gather the necessary materials. All we needed were disposable cameras and a security sensor. But the culprit found something else there. The murder weapon. That's right, the shot put ball. They put the cameras, as well as the shot, in their backpack. Then, on the day the time limit would expire, the day of the murder, the culprit and I collected the modified cameras from you and visited the library. Once there, we searched the room for ideal locations to place the cameras. But even then, the culprit was preparing the murder. They began by removing the vent grate and laid it inside the air duct. Then, they moved the pile of books on top of the bookcase, pretending to organize them. After that, they placed open encyclopedias on the final bookcase. It appeared innocuous enough, but it was actually a path for the murder weapon. The culprit also tampered with the hidden camera linked to the security sensor. I was responsible for setting up the other cameras, but that one... I didn't even notice their trick. They used duct tape to keep the flash function on. After the cameras were set, the culprit and I climbed the stairs to the first floor classroom. We kept a lookout for the others and waited for the security sensor to go off. During the stakeout, we saw Kaito and six others go down to the basement. Rantaro was with them first victim. After watching that group enter the game room, I returned to the classroom. With about one hour remaining, the security receiver I was holding went off. I assumed it was the mastermind, so I ran out of the classroom to the library. I was in such a hurry, I left the culprit behind. Looking back on it now, that was the last chance I had to stop the murder. After I had left, the culprit took the shot put ball out of their backpack and rolled it into the classroom vent. This set the murder in motion. Rantaro had moved the bookcase, triggering the receiver. Unbeknownst to him, the trap had been sprung. First, the modified camera took a picture of Rantaro with the flash on. 
Rantaro noticed the flash and approached the bookcase to inspect the camera. The camera flash lured Rantaro directly into the murder weapon's path. The shot the culprit tossed into the vent rolled through the air duct. Came out of the library's vent and kept rolling atop the bookcase. Opening the vent grate and organizing the books was all to create a path. Under normal circumstances, the victim would have been alerted by the noise. But the promotional video was masking the sound of the shot rolling. The shot kept rolling, then fell on Rantaro's head, killing him. By the time we had entered the room, the murder was complete. I imagine, seeing Rantaro's body, the culprit probably thought... The mastermind is dead, the game is over, now we can all go home. But their wish didn't come true, because Rantaro wasn't the mastermind. It was murder, in an attempt to save all our lives. That is the truth. That's the truth behind your lies, Kaede Hakamatsu, the ultimate pianist. That's insane. Not even protagonists are safe in V3. The events of this case. I entirely was like, oh, I mean, it's the protagonist of the game. They can't die. They haven't died before. And most games don't have the balls to do it. I forgot I was playing Danganronpa, okay? They have the balls to do whatever. <laughs> oh, no. Kayede did it? Damn it! It is a truth I do not wish to accept. But since Shuichi has brought everything to light, we can at least try to trust the Kayede we've come to know up to this point. The Kaede we've come to know? Even if she did commit a crime, what Kaede has said to us is not a lie. She wanted to protect us, and I firmly believe that to be the truth. If that was a lie too, it'd be the last straw for me. I'd have nothing left to believe in. You guys are so nice, even though I betrayed you all. No, that's not true, Kaede. You were trying to save all of us. Nice job, Shuichi. I didn't expect any less. What? You were super reliable back there. But you still have a long way to go. You need to be more assertive. If you did that more often, you'd be a pretty cool guy. <laughs> if you became the protagonist and made it so you had to be assertive. <laughs> You would be amazing. Oh, gosh. So she's going to have such a big growth that I'm ready for it. Kaede, why? Why are you smiling like that? Why are you still trying to get me to be brave? Why, Kaede? Why are you thinking about everyone except yourself? If you had just been less selfless, you wouldn't have had to murder. Why? Why do you do that? I'm sorry. Stop, stop, stop! At least save it for the end of the trial! Sheesh! <laughs> Looks like the debate's finished, so that means it's voting time! All right, you bastards! Press the button in front of you to cast your vote. And make sure y'all vote, because refusing to vote is grounds for termination. At last, the heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless finally face off! 
Class trial voting time. Please wait. <laughs> it seems the voting is finished. Now then, let's see the result. Having to actually do the voting makes it so much more real, too. Who will be chosen as the Blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Wow. I got an A rank. Let's go. The, there's only one... I got an A in everything except for one part. Yeah, that makes sense. The scrum I did terrible on. I did horrible here. Like, I get that. There was another spot that I did terrible on, too. It was one of these debates I did horrible with, so I'm surprised that I didn't get a bad grade on those. But, like, I, I trucked the beginning of this. Like... That's all I gotta say. And then, you know, there was two bumps in the road. That this could be typical, I think, for us. Absolutely right. Well, 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 at this point it goes without saying, but you have all voted correctly. The blackened who had killed Rentaro Amame is the ultimate pianist, Kayere Atamatsu. I'm glad. Good. What? Well, what? Good? Don't screw around. What do you mean, good? Is this how you want it to end? That's not true. Not really, but I could have turned out a lot worse. It could have turned out a lot worse, so this is fine, I too. get it. It is not fine. It is super horrible. The worst ever. <laughs> yeah. How did it come to this? Please. Kaede, please, would you process? Or, Kaede, what would you process? Or, what would process or possess you oh my god there's no r there what would possess you to do something like this <sighs> ganta no can accept this not unless you explain Real? yeah i won't be satisfied until i hear sh it straight from you hey kaede please <sighs> okay please allow me a few moments of your time then it is it's just like suichi said i was after the mastermind this entire time i wanted to kill the mastermind and i thought doing it would end the killing game but but why did you try to kill them? Maybe they could have been captured. Um, if it hadn't been for the time limit, I probably would have done that instead. But the time limit meant that capturing the Mastermind is way less likely to work, you know? Because the Mastermind could have just played dumb and ran out the clock and killed us all. Yeah. I was worried about that happening. Therefore. Oh, so you thought that you sought to kill the Mastermind instead. That's right. I had made up my mind just before we set up the cameras in the library. I thought it was my last chance to save everyone. I couldn't let my chance pass me by, and I had to save everyone no matter what. Mm. Even if you had to kill someone. Yeah. That's right. I thought that killing the Mastermind was our best shot at escaping this place together. I, I really believed it too, Kaede. But... Oh, Kaede, it never dawned on you. As soon as you thought that thought entered your head, Monokuma had you right where he wanted. It's because the... What mattered most to Monokuma is the killing game started. You really don't care. Regardless of your reasons, the moment you felt the urge to kill, you had already lost. You agreed to be part of this killing game when you allowed murder to fill your heart. Wait. That's so true, though. Wait. To put it like that? But he's not wrong. She's the reason the killing game has finally started. Uh, no. But if Kaede hadn't done anything, we'd all be dead by now. Right. Kaede saved everyone. We can no blame her. I know that. I know. You don't need to remind me. 
That is why I'm so pissed off, pissed off at myself for being so, so useless. Um, Kokichi, that's enough. I can see right through your act. Man. Whoops, that obvious, huh? That's right. But Kokoichi is right. I was being played. And I didn't even kill the mastermind. I killed one of our dear friends instead. What I did was so terrible. So unforgivable. I took an innocent life. And it, I'm nothing but a horrible murderer. You should all hate, blame, and be disgusted by me. Wait. Kayade, please calm down. Uh... After we found Rantaro's body, when I realized he wasn't the mastermind, I thought about ending this by confessing to you what I had done. But I couldn't. Because of Monokuma's first blood perk. Your... I see. If you confessed there and then, you would not You would have been able to leave. But you decided you couldn't leave this place by yourself, so you kept quiet. <sighs> because of the first blood perk, you were forced to hide the truth from us. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I see. So the first blood perk worked against the Blacken rather than for them. Uh... But at the same time, I thought, if I did this for everyone, then instead of making things easier by confessing, I thought I should lie to you all, so it would motivate you to keep moving forward. Then... So that's the reason for the trial. To reveal the... Er, to reveal the mastermind? Because... I felt like if I didn't do this, then Rantaro's death would have been meaningless. Well then... We... We were searching for the culprit and the mastermind during the class oh, trial. Yeah. Oh, Kayane did mention that. But that is why I want to end all of the terrible things happening to us. I'll defeat the mastermind to end the dumb killing game. And I'll even use this class trial to do it. I... I wanted to keep it, my crime a secret. I was going to tell you all eventually. But before I did, I wanted to expose the mastermind first. Then by then the killing game would have ended and everyone but me would be saved. Uh... I thought that was the best way I could atone for killing Rentaro. Sorry. This is my fault. I was wrong. There was no mastermind. What? You were wrong? But didn't you say the mastermind was one of us? Uh, okay. That's what I thought at first. But in the end, we have nothing. No one has made any moves at the time limit, and the trial was useless. Let's see. Even when Suichi was about to be voted as the blackened, they still did not appear. Maybe. Yeesh. That seriously was a close one. If Kayane had just kept her mouth shut, we'd all be dead right now. No way. There's has to be something else that we can discuss. We just gotta think. Right, Suichi? But... On the other hand, she's only in this mess because she decided to say something at that moment. That's... I wanted to protect Kaede, but I also wanted to unmask the mastermind. Even... But even when the killer was about to be condemned, they remained hidden. Sorry. That was too mean to the mastermind. Or, that has to mean that the mastermind is not among all of us all. What? So Kaede had the wrong idea the whole time? All her actions were taken under Suichi's flawed logic. Uh, okay. That's why it's my fault. All of this happens because my detective work was wrong. If I hadn't been so stupid, I, if I had never said anything about the mastermind to Kaede, Rantaro wouldn't have died and Kaede wouldn't have been a murderer. It's all my fault. That's wrong. No, it is not. Huh? Kaede. Because... I killed him, not you. Right? Right? Didn't I? But... But Kaede, why did you set such a convoluted trap? If your intent was to kill the mastermind, there was no reason for you to cover your tracks. Jeez. Isn't it obvious? It's because she didn't want Suichi to know. Huh? Me? Yeah. Of course. But I didn't want everyone else to know either. Because I said I wanted to escape the place with everyone. Because... But you guys wouldn't want to be friends with a girl who killed someone, would you? <laughs> be friends? <laughs> Kayane put a lot of thought into this. Mm. Uh, she put so much thought into this, it drove her to commit murder like a lunatic. <gasps> God, you are such a dumbass! Yeah. I know, right? I'm such an idiot. However, we're only survive. We we only survived the time limit because of the idiosity. Right. Yes, we are still alive thanks to you, <clears throat> Kayere. <clears throat> I didn't know how, but I wanted you to get you out of here or get out of here with you. I wanted to be friends. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Damn. So you're saying everything you did to us was because you were thinking of us, and you hid it. That you kill him just to stay and help us. How did things... All right, all right, that's it. What? what? What do you mean? What do you mean, that's it? Ah. Father, are you getting bored? That's right. Uh, you know how Pop skits. He can't stand to think of a tearjerker, Sherlock. <sighs> I can't stop crying! 
Uh, I see nothing gets past my adorable little cops. I don't even get to get, let appetizers get past me, especially if someone else bought them. Now then. Uh, but we can't let this boring display grind the action to a halt. Time to make things interesting. Huh? Make things interesting. Chills, chills, and chills. now, the moment you have all been waiting for, the first punishment time of Danganronpa V3. <laughs> P -p punishment? You mean... Kaede's execution? No freaking way, there's no way we'll let you do that. Hey! Exiles assemble! Punishment time is a sacred segment. You're not allowed to interfere. And if you even try to interfere, we'll just crush you with these here exosols. Exosols. I, I keep saying exiles. Exosols. Better if one person dies instead of everyone. Like hell am I just gonna sit here and do what you say? Kaede fought with her life on the line, and so will I. Gonta will face you all. Times like this are why Gonta became strong. Gentlemen never back down, and neither will Gonta. This is the perfect chance to test out my Neo Aikido skills on machines. Yeah, I'll help. I can. Everyone stop! Stop it. Please. Just stop. Kaede. I... Enough, you guys. I've already prepared myself. You're giving up. Why? You said you would never give up. That we'd get out of here together. That's what you said, Kaede. Damn it. So why are you giving up now? Did you even mean what you said? I know we can do something. Don't give up until the end. No. I'm get not giving up because I have you. Huh? What? You know? Even after I'm gone, my wish is still here. Or my wish will still be here. So I'm counting on you all. I'm entrusting my wish to every one of you. I believe in you! I believe that all you all will make it through this somehow. You have to live! You guys better live. Don't go dying on me now. End this ridiculous killing game. Survive and get the hell out of this place. I promise. And then be friends after you escape, okay? I think you'll be all be the best of friends. Yeah. Affirmative, Kaede. I shall take that request. I will do my utmost to fulfill your final up uh, your fulfill your final request. I won't give up. I will get out of here no matter what. <laughs> Going to work hard to keep friends safe until very end. Bye. Well, Kaede, you definitely weren't boring. Well now. Now then, let's get now started. I have a very special punishment for the ultimate pianist, Kaede Akamatsu. Damn. Wait, wait a second, Kaede, please don't. Hey. Suichi, you better not lose. You can't lose. You can't lose to this killing game. I know you can beat it. It's punishment time. I believe in you. I believe in you guys, so please believe in yourself. I okay? <coughs> Protagonists aren't safe in this game. Oh, God. Live. What the heck? And we're on middle C right now, too. Oh, gosh. What kind of, what kind of song are we going to be playing? Conductor Monokuma. What the
Wait. No way. Okay, then Monica better come back. I shouldn't be more concerned about the monocub first first and foremost. I shouldn't be more concerned about the monocub. But secondly, what the Oh no. The moment it was over, I felt my legs give out of under me. What I just saw didn't feel real. As if all reality had vanished, and the only thing left in this fictional world, real or not, Kaede was gone. Oh shit! New protagonist. I'm like over here like kind of like in that weird. Okay. Kayane Akamatsu no longer existed in our world. Yeah. Huh? What the? Why is Monica? Mumonadum, what have you done? Ah, uh, girl, she puked oh, well. again. Ah, uh, but this tension ain't bad. So bad, you know. Finally feels like a proper killing game. If anything, we could stand a little more tension in our lives, right, Dad? No, my sweet... My sweet darling Mono Kid claimed as collateral damage. No! Wait! If he's legit dead, then y'all can actually mark off as to your character dies. Because he technically the mono cup, the blue mono cup was in my S tier. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think blue mono cup and green mono cup were both in my S tier. No way, right? We're, we're gonna have to go back and check the footage slash check the tier list You guys might actually have S tier character knocked off but in the most fucking hilarious way possible Oh, this is a nightmare. This is unacceptable my precious cub is on second thought. I guess it's okay After all I still have four more cubs. Oh, are they gonna be like Essentially like chapter markers, so we're gonna have less cubs as we go on. Oh, no Phew. I'm glad my kids came in bulk. you kids come in bulk. Okay, I'm shocked our existence means that little huh? What's done is done. What's dead is dead. No point in crying over crushed cubs <laughs> Unless you want to end up like little sad sacks But what? What in the world is this? Really? Are you fucking kidding me? Talk about overkill! Atua, please grant Kaede's soul eternal repose. <laughs> or repose. I cannot believe this happened to Kaede. I liked her s -s -s so m -m much. <laughs> Fake crying as usual. <laughs> All of a sudden, adrenaline creates such an exquisite feeling of despair. Moments like these make all the killings worth it. This is... But why? Why are you doing such a terrible thing? How dare you! You're the worst of the worst. Does human life have no value to you at all? Hey, um... I know I'm a human li- I know human life is precious. Precious. I'm not a monster, you know. Because <laughs> if a human life wasn't precious, ending it would nearly be as much fun! Extreme. There's no greater joy than witnessing such a display of despair entertainment! <laughs> <laughs> You've surpassed, psych, surpassed psychotic by a wide margin. What now? I don't think I've ever felt this irritated. I won't you? forgive you for this. Got that? I won't forgive you. Oh. Spoken like a marked man. What's your objective, Monokuma? What are you trying to pull? Do you hate us? If so, we have done something to make you hate us. Huh? Hate you? <laughs> <laughs> Who can say? Hey, That's I'm... your job to figure out. If you really want to know what's going on, you're going to have to work for it. Well. Though, the corpse formerly known as Rantaro may have to had a hunch. Huh? What is it? What do you mean? What was Rantaro's hunch? <laughs> what indeed? He did say he would end this game. And he did know about the hidden door. Could that all be related to this hunch you had, <laughs> you claimed to have had? I wonder. Hey, what the hell is this hunch? You're gonna go on about it. Spill it! I wonder if 
you have no intention in telling us, then keep your mouth yes. shut. You're focusing on Kayere instead of her dead weight victim. Well. well, it's not his fault he was useless. He died before his talent even could be revealed. If he had lived long enough to reveal it, maybe he would have been more useful. Oh, well, he's dead and that's that. That's the indifference of death for you. However, he wasn't really the mastermind, was he? You're really bugging huh? me. Are you still pestering me with these annoying questions? Why aren't you guys focusing a little too much on whether or not there's a mastermind? If you keep this up, you're all gonna end up like Kayede. What? Here. Maybe spend less time worrying about nonsense and more time watching your back, okay? Right. You should never know, or because you never know who's the next killer is gonna be. Apparently not. Looking <coughs> uh, I can't wait. I wonder what kind of killing game we're gonna see next. Hmm. Damn it. You may have gotten us this time, but we will get you next time you why? see. Uh, why are you all psyched up? That's nice. Oh, it's nice to see at least one of you has some chat spa around here. I have a feeling you're gonna live for a while. Thanks. Thanks. I'll do my best. Don't screw around. Shut the hell up. We're not going to have another killing game. I, Kaido Momoda, am not going to let you have a your way anymore. Got it? I'm going to punch that grin right off your face for sure. So. Oh, really? Well, that seems Too unlikely. Bad. I'm pretty sure you won't live long enough to do that. Well. Anyways, you got a lot to think about. <laughs> Work hard. Do your best to graduate. Because the fun only just begun. Hey, Monodom, explain yourself. Mm. I get that Mono Kid was a nauseous and rude, but that was way over the line. Because I did it for us. Ah. Hey, wait, Monodom. Oh. Well, where are you going? It's getting He probably killed. He probably killed him as payback for all the bullying and interesting turn of events. And with that, Monokuma and the Cubs left, and only we remain in the courtroom. I I don't think I can take all of this. I can't stand this anymore. I, I feel like I'm going crazy. No. Sumiki, you mustn't give up hope. Mm. Is there an even hope there to be had? The room feels utterly drained of it. <sighs> uh, Kaede. Ka uh. What kind of degenerate male cries in public? This is so, so, so um. rude. But Tenko, you're crying too. Sorry. Now is not the time to jump t or point that out, Kibo. Just let it be. Prayer time. It's times like this that we should pray before Kaede's soul so she can rest in peace. What? How annoying! How is anyone supposed to rest in peace after getting killed like that? I don't know. Uh, what are you gonna do from now on? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to know too. I'm so over this That's already. Enough! Uh, shut up, shut up, shut up! You all need to shut up! Kaido's voice boomed in the air, and the rest of the room went silent. Damn. Every single one of you, you and your meek, mild little complaints, shut up. you're pissing me the hell off! Right. But the one who's pissing me off the most Dumbass. is you, Shuichi! Huh? What? Clench your teeth! Kaito! You are supposed to say that before you hit him. Did you hear what Kaede said? She said she believed in you. That she passed her wish on to you. But what the hell's wrong with you? You didn't say a damn thing to Monokuma. You call yourself a man? Damn it. What's the matter? Say something already! Dumbass. I just hit you. Aren't you pissed off? What is your problem? Enough, Kaido. Mm -hmm. Sucker punching is pretty low, even for a low-life degenerate male like you. You better knock it off, or I'm gonna explode my er, explode my Neo Kaido all over your face. <laughs> fine. Are you okay? Sweetie, are you okay? Uh, okay. I'm, I'm fine. For now. Please stop. This sort of altercation is just a waste of time. Mm. Gonta, not sure if it's a waste of time, but Gonta, agree. Fighting is not good. Then... Can we leave it for now? Staying here will only make us feel more depressed. <laughs> well, put, 
I agree wholeheartedly. Sorry. Sorry. You should all go ahead without me. Um... Why? Is there a reason you wish to stay in this place? Uh, um... I want to be alone for a little while. Just what? a little bit. But we can't leave you here by your... No. Sumigi, perhaps it would be best if we allow him for privacy from now. <sighs> okay, I suppose. Shuichi, don't try and beat yourself up, okay? Yeah. Yep! Just hit the reset button on your feelings and you'll feel happy and cheerful in no time. Listen. Being a tad insensitive is important for survival. It helps avoid suicidal thoughts. Hey! Gonta will go back to let Gonta know if you need house help, okay? One by one, everyone climbed aboard the elevator, except... I mean... Suichi, I don't know how well you knew Kaiide. But why don't you try going to her ultimate lab? Huh? What do you mean? That's right. Monokuma set a room up. Set the room up, so there's probably not a lot there to remember her by. But there should be at least a bunch of things that she liked. Uh, okay. Things Kaede liked. Listen up. Understand? There's only one way to get through this awful feeling. No one's going to be able to console you if you're just sitting here alone. I mean... If anyone's going to help her, it's her in your memories. With those words, he stepped onto the elevator. Before I realized it, I got to my feet. I just started walking, and I was headed towards the Ultimate Pianist's research lab. It's not as if there would be any memories here, but there are things that she was really passionate about, and that's good enough for now. What a magnificent piano. I would have liked it for her to hear her play it, if only just once. That reminds me, that song that Kaede was talking about. Of course, it has to be here somewhere. I stood in front of the shelves of CDs and searched each one thoroughly end to end. It should be here somewhere. Where is it? Ah! Ah! Here it is. This is it. Delucy. I took the CD from the shelf and played it, placed it into the player in the corner. As soon as a soft melody had filled the classroom, my body relaxed, totally enveloped within the music. It was a strange feeling, the sound seeping into my body. Before long, I began to close my eyes. Why do I feel like... Okay. No, I'm gonna like let the music sit here for a minute. But this is where YouTube fucking demonetizes me, let's be honest. Th this right here is where YouTube is gonna demonetize me because I'm letting the song play, even though it's an old classical song from old days. But whatever, it's fine. I'm letting, I'm listening to it because I'm a classic, I like this. I don't, I'm not a classical music buff, but this is like, this is great. Just sit. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. Uh, <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. It's just <laughs> funny. Sorry, I'm, I'm going back to this demonetization thing. It's funny that F-bombs, killing, swearing, all of this stuff, not worried about. A classical music song from like... <laughs> 
A long time ago. That's what I'll be worried about. <laughs> you give me the courage I need to take on the mastermind. So please, be more confident. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Yeah, I'll try. I don't know if I can do it, but... No, I'll do it. I have to believe in myself. I won't be afraid anymore. I will face the truth for everyone. I won't give up for your sake, Kaede. I promise. From the bottom of my heart, I promise you, Kaede. Yep, that's our promise. I'm leaving everything up to you, Shuichi. Goodbye. Also about that being excited to play a female so that all the men can hit on me. <laughs> That's out the window as well. <laughs> My class trial, our class trial, chapter one. Surviving members, 14. To be continued. Wow. Music note hairpin. Do you want to save? Of course we do. And in the next episode of Danganronpa 3, V3, Killing Harmony, we're going to start Chapter 2 as a completely new protagonist and kind of have a whole lot of new kind of things kind of thrown at us. So it's going to be interesting and I'm excited to get into it, but also, wow. Um, but also now for you guys' sake, uh, if you guys got the S tier character dies, great job on you guys. If you guys did not get the S tier character dies, this is where we go through and uh, do our other tier list and uh, reorganize it. So we'll see our chapter one thoughts after this. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.